write stepper which has a property with the name steps steps take a list of step widget which has a title and a content property for showing three steps copy and paste the step widget two more times save and check the preview you can see the stepper but you can't switch between steps each step has an index 0 1 2 for changing currently open steps you can specify the index of the current step property you specify one and save widget rebuilds and second step active let's convert this widget into a stateful widget and store the current index state inside the current step variable and initialize it with zero now when you press the continue it does nothing for using this on continue button you have to specify the on step continue which take a function let's define continue step function where you increase the current step index value by adding one each time button is pressed for updating the ui wrap it with the set state variable save the file and see when you tap on the continue button it works fine until you press it in the third step you need to put an if condition which will check if current step index is less than 2 only then update the current step this will solve the error by limiting the current step index on step cancel property will take cancel step function where you make sure the current step is greater than zero set the state and reduce the current step index value by one save and check the app now we can continue and cancel back to the previous step but you can also specify on step tapped property which will directly give us the index of the tapped step simply assign this value to the current step and set the state save and tap on the step to move there continue and cancel buttons can be customized using controls builder property that receive a widget from the function by passing context and details here you create a next elevated button and on the on press property you assign the on step continue that you receive from the details parameter save it and see the preview stepper border is not showing correctly for that you have to wrap the button inside the row widget save border is working properly create an outline button on press property will take details on step cancel save your back button added now you can go next and move back but space is missing between buttons and add it using size box widget width property so far you did a great job you can give this circular icon a color by going to the step widget assign is active property a true value save and preview the color changes let's make it dynamic by giving a condition like at the zero index check the current step is greater than or equal to zero this will true if our current step index is more than zero at one index check the current step is greater than or equal to one this will true if our current step index is more than one at two index check the current step is greater than or equal to two this will true if our current step index is more than two you can also change the state of this step by assigning step state complete save and preview our step icon is changed for dynamically changing the state of the step use a condition like if current step is greater than or equal to zero show complete state otherwise show disabled similarly we check 
the index and show the state of other two variables like that. You can see this tapper is vertical. You can easily change it by type property to this tapper widget and assign step type dot horizontal. Save and see the preview. We have a horizontal stepper here. You notice horizontal stepper has the shadow. You can easily remove this by adding elevation property a zero value inside this stepper. Inside this stepper content property, you can specify the column widget which can have many widgets. As his children, you can save and see that the widget is scrollable now. This scrollable widget has a scroll behavior according to the platform in which the app is currently running. You can change this behavior by assigning physics property any scroll physics like clamping scroll physics. Also, you have the margin property which work only if you are in vertical mode. And you can see the button for margins. Thanks.